There's been a new poll recently that shows some very, very interesting turns on what Labour should do, that it could actually win quite a substantial majority in the Red Wall if it were to turn against Brexit. Now, obviously, this doesn't just happen in a vacuum. And I have said that, look, if you if Labour were to do this instantly, instantly, the Conservatives can turn around and say, oh, look, they're trying to overturn the will of the people. They're ignoring um, what they what they want. So you wouldn't really know how maybe that would work in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a, in a voting situation and in a sort of a general election. This idea would not exist by itself. It would be very, very quickly met, of course, by the, well, the Conservatives at this point, saying that they're trying to overturn the will of the people. You, you don't know how this would really play out in a general election. But nevertheless, this is some quite interesting polling, but it also does fit with what we saw a couple of weeks ago now. You may remember uh, we went over the, the piece by, I think it was a professor, uh, I think from Leeds University, who talked about how prohibition came to an end in America, where the hardcore really pushed for this hard version of prohibition and sort of brought along the more soft prohibitioners with them as well. And of course, as prohibition went the way it did and didn't really work, the softer prohibition people went, well, actually, this isn't working, and were more likely to then change their mind. And this is what also seems to be happening with Brexit as well, because the Leave campaign ran such a wide campaign to try and attract as many people as it could that you couldn't, it cannot accommodate those hard levers and those soft levers as well. And that's what we are now seeing, that people who voted Leave and ended up with this hard version of Brexit, which they were not promised, which is what they did not want, well, they're now changing their minds. And that's what we can see seems to be happening. I think a majority of this polls that those soft levers are very, very much changing their minds. But also other people are seeing the, the disaster that Brexit is as well. So there's a lot more really going on. But it wouldn't surprise me if we start to see more and more polls like this uh, as, as time goes on. It's very, very clearly now that the, the British public has changed their mind uh, on this. But one of the big reasons why this doesn't happen yet yeah, is, of course, we are still in first past the post, that these very often sometimes minority viewpoints, such as such as Brexit, get all of a sudden very, very big uh, political prominence, when in reality, the popularity of that idea isn't, shall we say, that widely spread. So, anyway, let's go uh, into reading a bit more about this uh, poll that was done. Because uh, I do think it's, it's quite interesting. It's quite some interesting information and worth bearing in mind the sort of direction of numbers this 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 does indeed uh, indicate. So, uh, as always, uh, please do remember to click on the like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below there are links to my Patreon page, the one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee, which you can all buy me coffee. There's a YouTube thank you button, and of course the Pony Club down below as well. Because of course we will be going over the question and answer answer session for those people uh, this coming Wednesday. <laughs> So you're basically going to be paying to watch me suffer. <laughs> so, as always, uh, thank you very much to those people who do help and support the channel that way. And even if you do, just click the like and share button. Like I say, thank you very much. So, over we go today to the Constitution Society uh, with their uh, publication on this. Of Labour could win an increased majority by turning against Brexit, new poll finds. So... New polling for the Constitution Society has revealed that the Labour Party would remain on course to retain all red wall seats, and that's the important thing, than could even expand its overall support if it said Brexit was a mistake. The polling now suggests that the party could win an even increased Commons majority at the general election if it were to make such a move. At present, the party is committed to the policy of making Brexit work. The Labour leader, Keir Starmer, has ruled out ever rejoining the, the, the EU and the Single Market or Customs Union, or in returning to freedom of movement. Starmer and other senior Labour figures who were previously pro-Remain now insist it is time to move on from the issue. They have maintained a position of not criticising Brexit, despite the evidence of public opinion turning increasingly against UK withdrawal from the EU. 
Labour seems to be motivated by a fear that the uh, appearing to be anti-Brexit would risk the chances of regaining the so-called red wall seats. And uh, that is true. That is what we have seen. By all indication, this is what they have seen. And I, it, it's, it's not an unreasonable position to take. It's really not. But bear in mind, this is the first of such a poll, so they're probably not going to just act on one particular poll. But if we start to see multiple of these, then this is where we might see Labour start to maybe change its mind, maybe start to change its tactics on these. Um, but we'll see. So this red wall label applies to constituencies uh, which, which produced leave majorities back in the 2016 EU referendum and which Labour lost to the Conservatives in the 2019 general election. Regaining this lost ground in the Red Wall is often regarded to be essential to Labour's return to power at the next general election, and it absolutely is essential. They have to retake those Red Wall seats if they are to regain power. Uh, the poll commissioned by the Constitutional Society uh, published today, though, finds that there would be no electoral penalty for Labour if the party were to say that Brexit was a mistake. Which, again, very interesting to actually see that, to say that OK, we've done a poll that says you would not suffer any electoral penalty. In fact, it would only be a boom. That is what's important. That is what is incredible about this, because it's the first of such thing. Yes, we've seen the polls turn against it, but we've never actually sort of applied this to voting preferences or would people change their minds when it came to time to vote? Um, and that it could even gain a bigger one from doing so. With its present stance of make Brexit work, Labour is, protect, is projected to win at least 527 seats at the House of Commons, a majority of 404. If it said Brexit was a mistake, its seats total could rise to 550. That's pretty much almost the majority. Remember, there are only 600 seats in the House of Commons. That is an overwhelming majority overwhelming if they could win that. So Labour, of course, is currently on course to sweep all 24 red wall seats. And this poll does reveal that the party would still be on course to win all 24 seats if it said Brexit was a mistake. So the poll was uh, found that among the general population of Great Britain, that most people, 59%, think that Brexit has made Britain worse off. Most people, 55%, do think that Brexit was a mistake. And on general voting intention, Labour has a lead of over 26% over the Conservatives. This lead could grow to around 28% if it said Brexit was a mistake. Now remember, in order to win, in order to win, you only need a 13% vote intention. So the fact that we are on course for a 26% one growing to a 28% one is massive. Remember that. That's, of course, under our current voting system. Remember that 13% swing, crucial. So the fact that they are this far ahead in voting, even after the, the attack ads have done somewhat damage to the uh, to the um, to sort of the voter intention, Labour is still ahead. And as I've said before, if they really want to win, they need to be big, bold, and brave about it. And this is where it gets interesting, because this is amongst the Red Wall voters now. So exactly half agreed that Brexit has made Britain worse off. 46% say that Brexit was a mistake. And on general voting, Labour has an increased lead of 33% over Conservatives. This lead would shrink to 30% if Labour said that Brexit was a mistake. But the party would still win all 24 red wall seats. So that is absolutely a, a barn, completely barn stomping uh, sort of victory o over that. I mean, just that alone just goes to show you the turn that has that has happened. And surprisingly, it is exactly as as we, we said before, almost exactly the same as prohibition. When people start to really see what the consequences of of prohibition were, and the fact that um, again, maybe they thought that alcohol would maybe be still available, but not in the quantities that it was. There was a lot of um, very quickly the public turned against it. And now we are seeing the exact same thing happening with Brexit. 
So will they be doing this? Um, like I say, this is sort of the first of such a poll to do this. So one sort of poll isn't really going to change uh, people's minds this quickly. But maybe if we get like, you know, two or three now out that say this, then this is what will become more interesting. And I think this is when you might maybe see sort of Labour MPs start to push for change on, on the stance of, of Brexit. Um, but as always, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. And I've always said, even if Labour were to do that, that would just not exist in a vacuum because obviously there would be the Tories saying what they would put out as well. And how would that fare in, 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 a, in a general election? We really don't know. So ultimately, while those polls do show a very, very interesting increase, the fact that it's, what, 33%, but if they say that um, Brexit was a mistake, it only drops to 30%, that's still a win. Well, <laughs> you know, it uh, turns out we were right all along saying that Brexit was a mistake and that we are right to say and continue that message, Brexit was a mistake. And you wonder why, you wonder why Brexiteers are so desperate for people like me and everyone else to shut up about Brexit because they don't want people talking about it, that Brexit is such a mistake, that part of the reason why we're in the position we are is because of Brexit. You know, <laughs> there is there is a reason why every other economy facing the exact same problems we are, but we're doing like, you know, infinitely worse. So, you know, it is, it is turning. The tide has turned, and it's turned a lot quicker, I think, than a lot of people initially expected. So, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. And of course, please do remember to click on the like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a station link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And of course, as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.